Have you ever gone shopping and just bought things out of boredom? I'll admit that it can be fun and entertaining to look at all the things on the shelves at stores and imagine having them. They might make life easier, make me look and feel better, or make me feel like I am keeping up with the crowd in the latest trends or fashion. You know, some people have realized that shopping and spending is not the answer to their boredom and can even cause more problems, like a financial and budgeting mess. One solutions, a no-buy challenge. Hundreds of thousands of people have created their own no-buy challenge. Others declare a no-buy year or make it a continuing way of life, embracing a simpler existence. Some participate for a week or a month resolving to forego buying in certain areas or on anything deemed unnecessary. Many people participate in a low-buy challenge in which they set spending limits. Could you benefit from a no-buy or low-buy year? Or even no-buy month? Let's have a look at a trend that is assisting thousands of consumers in breaking away from purchasing habits. Welcome to Money Talk where we discuss everything related to money. And for this video, we are going to talk about the No Buy Challenge movement. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons and be the first to check out our latest videos. Trends such as No Buy, Low Buy, and No Spend appear in videos, Facebook pages, and anywhere on the internet. The term no buy challenge can be misleading because very few people truly seek to stop buying completely. You know, the real issue is learning to spend consciously rather than obsessively. So the method to get there just happens to include going cold turkey on extra purchases for a month or year in order to perform a spending detox. While the no buy movement looks to be motivated by anti-consumerism, at first glance, it is actually motivated by intentionality and sustainability. It's not that shopping at stores is bad, it's only that the desire to indulge in retail therapy should not drive our expenditures. No buy victories are frequently described in emotional and behavioral terms. Some challengers quoted that one of the biggest lessons they learned is that there is an alternative to being a consumer which is actually to be a saver. I've heard people say that their no-buy year made them face the truth that they were using shopping to avoid emotions of boredom, loneliness, and the need to keep up with some celebrities. According to published data, approximately 5% of the population suffers from addiction or compulsive spending. Compulsive buying is more common in younger people, particularly students. Although compulsive shopping decreases with age and maturity, it is on the rise in market-driven countries because young people are unprepared to manage cash and credit in a consumer culture. The No Buy Challenge is a personal development challenge that also has a huge influence on one's personal finances. The desire to save is frequently the catalyst for change, and the savings are significant. You know, a no-buy challenge can help you restrict those last-minute impulse purchases. It actually can reset your purchasing perspective and implement long-term lifestyle improvements. The no-buy challenges can be especially beneficial for managing your personal finances during the pandemic, particularly if you've been impacted by job loss or reduced hours. Even if you haven't experienced a financial setback, as a result of COVID-19, a no-buy challenge can help you stay on track with good spending habits. It is especially important to set your spending priorities early and continue this practice throughout life. It makes saving for big necessary purchases easier and planning for retirement. Now, I know the topic gets more and more interesting from here, but I want to know have you had any success with no-buy challenges? Let me know in the comment section below so that we can talk about it. So now is the time 
when I'll give you five tips for a no buy success. So first and foremost, understand why you are taking on the challenge. Understand why you want to change your spending patterns in the first place. Is it to save money for a down payment on a house? Have you paid off your college loans? Saving for a trip? A particular goal will help you stay motivated. Second is to make your own rules. What are you going to spend your money on? How long is the challenge going to last? Will you limit your expenditure or maybe eliminate it entirely for specific items? How will you deal with unique obstacles or situations? The more clarity you have about what success means to you, the more successful you will be. The third is to be prepared for pushback. No buy challenges are life-changing because they drive us to reconsider our spending habits and form new ones. This process can be uncomfortable at times and it may drive you to rethink previous assumptions and decisions, as well as redefine your own identity. It's not always easy to connect your purchasing with your principles, but it's always valuable. The fourth is that Instead of shopping or spending, you should make a list of activities to do. When people cut back on shopping or other sorts of spending, they usually discover that they have more time. So what activities would you wish to devote more time to? Being intentional with your time will help you be intentional with your money. And the fifth is to establish a system of accountability and support. So this could include recruiting friends and family, joining an online organization, finding a no-spend accountability buddy, or launching your own YouTube channel and announcing your purpose to the world. Just make sure you have someone or somewhere to turn for help when the challenge becomes difficult. Start small, go slow, as the saying goes. A no by year may be setting yourself up for failure. However, you can achieve some of the same results by beginning with a no by week or month, or by opting for a low by period by selecting a few no by categories or setting spending limitations. So, are you ready for a no by challenge? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button click subscribe, and hit that notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. If you want to watch more videos, head on over to our channel to see more. See you!